first topic which we are going to discuss <coughs> is user acceptance uh, testing approaches so in this topic uh, first of all we should be going to select a person or a team for testing and then we will be deciding the user acceptance test criteria and what are the set of the cases which on which it is to be tested then maintaining the log and the field testing system is the necessity that uh, uh, it should be tested on the end users which are which are to be which are facing or which are accepting this knowledge based product so the test team plan uh, uh, we focus that uh, the testing team should not be same as that of the design and the codification team of the system so that uh, it, the testing is not affected and it is impartial and at the same time uh, the testing team should know the technology of the knowledge product and he, they should be well aware of the knowledge based infrastructure they should be well versed with the organization business for example if the company is dealing with the uh, coaching center business iit coaching or medical coaching that they should be well aware that which are these subjects to be opted by the students if he is going for the medical preparation or for the engineering preparation and so on then uh, what are the factors of user acceptance test criteria that uh, testing is done to ensure that there is a accuracy adaptability is there adequacy is there it should be appealing it should be easily available user should be easily should be user should easily access the the knowledge based product which is being offered and it should be ease of use should be there for example uh, it should follow a sequence and uh, whenever one link uh, one uh, user is shifting from one point to the other the adequate link should be uh, provided and it its performance should be good enough it should be robust it should not be uh, attacked by the virus easily it should be reliable long life and now user acceptance test techniques how uh, it is uh, that can be positive product system that can be face validation system and uh, when there should be set of test cases many cases should be there system should, uh, validation should be there and based on those field testing and the testing the log should be maintained so that uh, uh, later stages uh, it can be analyzed easily <clears throat> now we will discuss what are the strategies in organizations and what are its components and functions first of all we will be going for the managing the test phase then we will go for the system development so uh, first of all a person should know what is to be tested when it is to be tested how it is to be tested and where it is to be tested testing is done to evaluate the knowledge based and who will be going to go for the logical testing and who will be the person responsible for the user acceptance testing deciding the evaluation criteria evaluation criteria should be defined and what should be recorded during the test this is important whenever log is to be maintained of the testing it should be very clear so the mainly the statistics which are recorded are those rules that always fire and succeed for example we can include that the if we are following the testing manual then most often than not we are going to succeed in the testing second is there those rules that always fire and fail for example we are operating the knowledge based product with less configurations as desired or as specified for example that knowledge based product requires 4 gb ram and octa core processor but the availability with the user is 2 gb ram and maybe quad core processor and so on so that rules will fire he will be able to join that knowledge based product but it will fail because because of the buffering because of the lack of the voice clarity less lack of the video clarity so it will result in a failure because uh, of the less configuration and what are the next comes the, the those rules that never fire for example if we say that if the testing is done without the sufficient knowledge 
if the skilled person is not there for example if the knowledge based product is based on the java and the person is just a metric pass so he is not equipped well equipped mentally to go for the testing so the, it will result in the failure and those results that have failed so another log is to be maintained for the results which are undesirable even when the all the procedures were followed in a right manner so that comes under this category so all these are summarized under two types of error one is the type 1 error a rule that fails to fire when it is supposed to fire for example even if we are following all the right procedures it will it may sometimes still result in a failure and a rule that fires which is not supposed to fire for example if we if that output is being delivered to a user which is not meant for it meant for them that comes under this category for example if in the iit coaching if a student is going for a user id password login and he is able to access physics chemistry that is fine but if he is also accessing the biology contents test series etc which was not meant for him so that comes under this category that it it is also giving those results which is not meant for it okay now comes the system development so system deployment so the system deployment is affected by the following factors for the for example we can say that a system is designed uh, keeping into the mind that a person or a student will succeed in a particular subject so there are few technical aspects organizational aspects procedural behavioral aspects which may affect the student in succeeding or in a failure so uh, first of all we will discuss the technique so technical part uh, if a person is going it can be offline case it can be online case of student passing the subject or studying or learning so technical aspect can be that student should be well equipped with the syllabus he should have the proper notes assignments previous year question papers and so on and in the organizational parts uh, the student should have the timetable class should be organized properly for example if it is the online class the timetable should clarify that on which day for example during on monday 11 pm or 11 am sorry 11 am the class will be held in lt5 so it should be clear in the timetable and then a faculty should be assigned and it should have the proper infrastructure of blackboard or whiteboard marker system sitting arrangement podium etc similarly uh, during the online organization of class the trainer or a teacher should have the online user id password access of any meeting app zoom meeting app or google and another uh, organizational part could be the industrial visit for the core branches providing the books in the library audio visual aids etc now comes the procedural part what is the procedure which is to be followed first of all the student should study he should appear in the examination hall so before that he should reach the examination hall that is the one of the procedure and with the hall ticket then he should attempt the papers and then comes the evaluation part and he will get pass or fail whatever depending upon his the performance so now the behavioral part behavior part again it depends upon the student he can follow the hard work or go for the cheating to crack the subject he can be punctual during the class or he can be late during the class so this is the behavior aspect of the students so what are the issues or the challenges first is the political aspect so for example the person is uh, unable to get into the examination hall due to any deep politics someone is not supporting him or to he is not supported enough to go to the class or to fetch the books or he is more involved in the daily course this can be one of the factors now another aspects can be another challenge can be economic challenge that student is not 
having enough money to go for the online courses or to purchase the books and other necessary items for example laptop or mobile with printer etc so what are the aspects of the deployment the transfer of knowledge management system from the knowledge developer to the organization's operating unit transfer of knowledge management system from knowledge developer to organization operating unit so for example uh, there is one knowledge management system in our university in the erp for example you can say that the uh, the knowledge developers of those erp system from any software company say you can say accenture so they have transferred those knowledge management system from them to the organization's operating unit or you can say the persons at the server rooms and second transfer of the knowledge management system skill from knowledge developer to organizations operator skill which is required that is to be transferred for what can be those skills that can be skills soft skills and technical skills technical skills mainly involved how to get into the login how to enroll the students how to enroll the staff how to map the students to the uh, staff faculty members how to map the subject teacher subjects or courses to the faculty members and so on so these are those aspects